My name is Dr. Indika Mukadevi and I am here today to present some medical knowledge on this coronavirus, especially how to escape from this virus and how to be safe. I believe it is a duty and a responsibility of us as medical professionals to present some important scientific knowledge on this coronavirus. Because it's pretty clear that a lot of fears out there. And what is this fear is confusion. Not only the confusion, but also feeling of helplessness and hopelessness with a sense of uncontrollability and uncertainty. But if we present the scientific knowledge, the medical knowledge, it will help you to understand the essential facts about this disease. Constant media coverage about the coronavirus can keep us in a heightened state of anxiety. So don't be panicked. Try to limit related media exposures and instead seek out for the factual information from reliable sources. When we are stressed, it is easy to see things as worse than they are they really are. Rather than imagine the worst case scenario and worrying about it, you need to focus on few scientific facts about this disease. How to be safe in the first place without taking you through this complex story and the scientific jargon of the coronavirus today. Let me tell you about the essential scientific knowledge which will help you to escape from this corona infection. Other than anything, there are three important facts you need to know. Firstly, what is this coronavirus? And how can you re-attack this undeveloped species? Secondly, how does it enter your body? And then you know how to prevent getting it infected. Thirdly, what are the symptoms and what you need to do if you feel unwell? Let me start with what is coronavirus? It is a genetic mutation, let's say an alteration, a new type of existing virus called coronavirus. The latest scientific name which has created by World Health Organization is SARS-CoV-2. This is the official name for it. This virus is very deadly, has a very high mortality rate and this is very very contagious. That means it can propagate from one person to another very very easily. That's why we are experiencing this terrible, disastrous, catastrophic pandemic. This virus has so far killed more than 27,000 people and infected more than 600,000 on this planet. These figures should give you an eye-opening how deadly it is. This calculation shows you nearly 5% of infected people are dying. That means 1 in 20 infected people are dying. I am repeating this again. This disease has a very high mortal rate. So, how does this deadly virus spread? Examine these figures. It has infected 600 individuals in more than 190 countries just within 4 months. This will tell you how contagious this is and be sensible to get such a contagiousness. An infected person should have passed in this virus at least to 7 to 10 percent. This is called RO factor. And significant number of people should have been infected directly from an infected person through the airborne route. Coronavirus 
spreads primarily from an infected person transmitted via droplets and pollen. If you are in proximity to an infected person, you will inhale droplets, generated when they cough or sneeze. It can also spread through foils, that means through objects or materials which are likely to carry infection, such as clothes, utensils and furniture. If you touch a surface or object that has a virus on it and then touches your nose, mouth or eyes, then you get the virus. Similar to the virus which causes common cold, coronavirus is also a respiratory epitheliotropic virus. What does that mean? That means coronavirus grows mostly in the epithelium of the respiratory tract. Now we will talk on how can you protect yourself. This virus shed off through the respiratory tract. It mainly grows in the respiratory tract. The virus enters your body through the respiratory tract. So you need to protect your respiratory tract, your nose and your mouth. Wear a face mask. Avoid touching your face, especially your nose, mouth and eyes. Develop a new personal space for you. Whenever you interact with another person, always consider, always consider that person might be a possible carrier of this virus. So keep at least one meter of personal space. Now it is called social distance. Keep two meters of personal space with people who are unwell. Use your flexed elbow when you cough or sneeze. How can we kill this virus at home? We can kill this virus using very simple things such as soap, detergents, salt and heat. So wash your hands regularly with soap and water or alcohol based hand rub. Clean your surroundings using detergent. Regularly gargle your throat with warm water and add some salt. Regularly rinse your nose with warm water. Do steam inhalations regularly. Remember always, this deadly virus enters your body through the respiratory opening and heat can kill the virus. So I repeat you, you can gargle with warm water, you can rinse your nostrils with warm water, so you can kill the virus. Don't expose yourself to this deadly virus. So most important, Stay at home and self-isolate from others. Be away, even from your family members, for at least 21 days. If they are suspicious, who have got direct exposure or coming from a foreign country. Finally, we talked about the symptoms associated with this disease. Symptoms of COVID-19 are non-specific. That means there are no specific symptoms for this disorder. Some of the symptoms are similar to that of common cold. Symptoms can range from no symptoms, means asymptomatic, to severe pneumonia and death. Suppose you get this virus today, so you are infected today. But for the most of the time, you will not exhibit any of the symptoms Today itself. It takes some time. It is called incubation period. For COVID-19, the incubation period is average of five to six days. But some of the patients in Wuhan started exhibiting symptoms within a day. For some, it took about 14 days. So for Wuhan patients, the incubation period had a range from 1 to 14 days. This is the figure the safe period of 14 days for quarantine came from. I want to emphasize 
one important scientific fact here. This 14 days of quarantine period, based on the incubation period, is valid only for the Chinese population. We can't generalize this value for the other populations. Incubation periods may be different from one population to other. It depends on various factors, including susceptibility of the host and immune response of the host. So incubation periods may be different from China to Italy, where the elderly people are more, which might be more susceptible, and from UK to USA. Therefore, I would say, to be safe side, be away for more than 14 days, at least 21 days, from the people who have got direct exposure. This is the results with regard to the pattern of disease progression in China. According to the severity of symptoms, we can categorize patients into four types. The mild, moderate, severe and critical. What you can see from this is the severe and critical patient who can very rapidly progress into ICU and then progress to death. This can happen as rapidly as three to four weeks. But it doesn't exclude the patients who are mild or moderate. While they are, we can't exclude them. They also can rapidly progress into ICU and then progress to death. If you look at the symptoms profile, 80% of laboratory confirmed patients had mild to moderate disease. 40% had severe disease, 6% patients were critical, all had cough, whereas in 66% of patients had dry cough, and one third of patients had sputum producted cough. 90% of patients had fever, whereas 10% of them had other symptoms without fever. 40% of patients had fatigue, 20% had shortness of breath, 15% had sore throat, and 15% had headache, and 15% patients had myalgia or arthralgia, especially back ulcer. And chills can get in 10% of patients. 5% had nausea or vomiting. 5% had nasal conditions, 5% had diarrhea, 1% had mild hemoptysis, blood coming out with sputum, 1% of patients had conjunctival conditions. If you have mild symptoms, stay at home until you recover. You can relieve your symptoms by doing the following, rest and sleep, keep warm, Drink plenty of liquids. Do steam inhalation. Gargle with warm water and some salt. Rinse your nose with warm water. Use a room humidifier or take a hot shower to help ease a sore throat and cough. But if you have a fever, cough and difficulty in breathing, seek medical attention immediately. If you don't have any symptoms, Remember, stay at home, be safe and escape from this virus. For the moment, I'll end it here. Thank you for watching this video and please share this with your friends and family. We wish from our heart all of you to be safe. So, take care.